welcome back to Helena's Craft Barn. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Helen. So normally in my videos, what I love doing is taking an old item, um, either refinishing it, repurposing it, um, giving it new life. Sometimes that means completely tearing it apart and turning it into something else. So that's what I'm going to do today in my video. I'm going to be making a farmhouse riser for dining room table uh, in a couple of breadboards um, out of an old piece of barn board. Um, so if, if that's something that you enjoy watching, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Thank you. I appreciate it. So you want to start off by taking a piece of barn board and just cutting it to the length that you want your breadboard to be. I'm using an old spindle here, but you could even use a dowel or like an old broomstick maybe. Um, a leg from an old chair would work as well. I drew out my corner and when you cut it off you can just flip it over to the other side and you, that way you get both sides to match. I saw this done on another channel and I, I got so super excited. She did such an amazing job I figured I have to try making one for myself. And I'll link it for you below in my description box. Her name is Julie from Julie's Design and Signs. So after cutting my, my spindle, I took my blade and just, you wanna make the blade come out long enough to cut halfway through your spindle. I put it in the vise and then cut lengthwise towards where I had cut, if that makes any sense. And then you want to go ahead and glue that flat part onto your board as a handle. I ended up making two of these and I just absolutely love how they turned out. For my second project, I'm going to be using these two end pieces from each chair that are holding up the armrest. And these will be the legs for my, my riser. I just went ahead and cut them to length and then I sanded them down take a little of the shine off and I had two pieces of, of wood here I'm going to clean up and um, glue together After gluing, I clamped it together and let it sit for a day or two. I then flipped it over and mark where my feet will be attached. I lost this video, but I did, I glued them down and then screwed them on from the top. And then you just want to give it a good coat of paint. I'm using um, a Walmart brand, um, Antique White. And then I just took my sandpaper and just distressed the corners. had my husband help me with the next piece. He cut a couple of metal pieces for me and I attached them on top to hide my screws. And I am so happy with the end result. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you.